Okay, uh, welcome to one last video, which is going to go to kind of an example question. Then we're going to start looking at applications of how we can use calculus to solve problems. Okay, so this question is going to be, oh, I should just write it out quickly here. Okay, there it is there. So I wrote it out really quickly. <laughs> y is equal to, in brackets, x minus 4 over x plus 3, all to be cubed. Okay, so again, this is chain rule because we have a function outside of function, but it's a little bit different. So uh, we'll see We'll see what it's like anyway. We're going to start <clears throat> start by differentiating it. We're going to go dy dx. We're going to use our Arabic onions. We're going to do the cubed bit first. It's going to be 3 x minus 4 x plus 3 squared times the differentiation of the middle bit yeah so it's the outside bit differentiated times the inside layer differentiated okay only problem is this here isn't easy to differentiate this is going to be the quotient rule in itself so I'm gonna actually write that out separately here in red pen so x minus 4 over x plus 3 okay so let's scroll down a little bit so we're gonna say if y is equal to x minus 4 over x plus 3 I'm just doing this separately so I can differentiate it and then I can write it back in here okay and um, then the dy dx dy dx is gonna be equal to okay so remember for the quotient rule it's gonna be equal to u over v Okay, so remember it's a function with u, or a function with x over another function with x. So that means the quotient rule, dy dx, is going to be equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all divided by v squared. Okay, does that make sense? So as usual, we're going to use our normal method. So we're going to write out our u's and v's. So if u is equal to x minus 4 and v is equal to x plus 3, then that means that our du dx is going to be 1 and our dv dx is also going to be 1 because if you differentiate 1, or x it'll go to 1 and the minus 4 will go to 0 and the same case here okay so if we want to stick that in here and uh, go green just to keep it nice and colorful we're gonna have let me just scroll up a tiny bit okay our v, no scroll down a little bit more okay our v is gonna be the first one so we're gonna have x plus 3 multiplied by du dx which is just 1 minus our u which is x minus 4 multiplied our dv dx which is also just 1 that's all going to be divided by v squared which is going to be x plus 3 squared if I simplify that it's going to be just x plus 3 minus x plus 4 is the minus minus all divided by x plus 3 squared it's all equal to, so we're going to have a plus x and a minus x. It's just going to be 7 over x plus 3 squared. And that's fine to leave the x plus 3 squared the way it is. It'll just be messy if we uh, multiply it out, okay? So this is our answer for our little dy dx. So remember, that isn't, this isn't the whole dy dx. This is just this little bit. So I'm going to stick it back in in green. Multiply it by 7 over x plus 3 all squared okay and then draw a little box around it for our final answer so again like I said you can multiply it out if you want but there's no need to it's just going to be messy on the exam paper this is likely going to be what the marking scheme looks like because this is as far as you can go with the differentiation after that it's just algebra and what they're looking for here is just differentiation okay so again it's it gets messier and messier the more complicated it gets it you don't get a nice clean answer but again, it's like an, like an onion, so you do layer by layer. The outside layer will give you this here, and then the inside layer, differentiating this with the quotient rule, will give you this number here, okay? So again, I hope this helped, and now we're going to start looking at applications of differentiation.